Here's how to accurately find the density of a powdered solid. To find density, you need mass and volume. However, you cannot just put the powder on the scale. We have to put it on wax paper and then subtract the mass of the wax paper. And for the volume, we're going to use displacement. However, we can't just put the sodium chloride in water. It will dissolve. Based on the properties of matter chart, we can see that sodium chloride is soluble in water, acetone, but not ethyl alcohol. So we'll put it in ethyl alcohol for our displacement. To find the mass, first we have to find the mass of the wax paper. It is 0.5 grams. We can then put the powder, the sodium chloride, on the wax paper and find the new mass. The combined mass of the wax paper and the sodium chloride is 3.0 grams. We can put these values onto our data table. The first mass, which was the mass of the wax paper, was 0.5 grams. Combined, the wax paper and the sodium chloride had a mass of 3.0 grams. We subtract the mass of the wax paper and the mass of the powder is 2.5 grams. To find the volume, we're going to put ethyl alcohol into an empty graduated cylinder. Ethyl alcohol is colorless. It's hard to see on camera. So I'm going to put one drop of red food coloring to make it easier to see. To get the first volume, first you have to find the scale. To go up between 2 and 3 milliliters, there are two lines. Each line is worth 0.5 milliliters. We can see the reading is 3 milliliters. Now we can add in the powdered solid which is sodium chloride. Remember, sodium chloride is insoluble in ethyl alcohol. That means it does not dissolve. You can actually see the sodium chloride at the bottom. It is not dissolved. The graduated cylinder on a level surface and getting eye level, we can see that the second volume, the lowest point of the meniscus, is at 4 milliliters. Put these on our data table. First volume is 3 milliliters. By displacement, the volume went up to 4 milliliters, which means the volume that we put in, 4 minus 3, is 1 milliliter. Density is mass divided by volume. So we plug in 2.5 grams over 1 milliliter, and that equals 2.5 grams per milliliter. The next step is to find the percent error, which is how far you are off from the true value. The true value for the density of sodium chloride is 2.17 grams per milliliter. We subtract the measured value, which we found is 2.5, and divide that by the true value, 2.17. Then we multiply that number by 100. 2.17 minus 2.5 is negative 0.33. Divided by 2.17 is about negative 0.15. We multiply that number by 100, and we see the percent error is about negative 15%. That means we were over by about 15%.